Hey guys, in this video I want to do a quick speed and camera comparison between the Galaxy A3 uh, 2015 versus the uh, 2016, actually this one is the 2016 one and this one is the 2015 Galaxy A3 so let's see how the new Galaxy A3, uh, how much this uh, phone is now faster than the older one so first of all I'm going to do a quick boot up test here so you can kind of see how they changed the, um, the logo there and also we get Qualcomm 410 chipset on the older one while the newest one comes with a quad-core Exynos 7580 chipset uh, both have 2 gigabyte, no, both have 1.5 gigabyte of RAM a little bit less, you can see almost the same speed but this one seems to be a little bit faster there alright, time for a quick little apps opening test here first of all, so I have closed everything up in the background uh, let's start off uh, with uh, the uh, Instagram first, here we go and you can see A3 2016 slightly faster there. Uh, let's go ahead and launch Temple Run. Here we go. I also did a comparison review, which you can see on my channel. Um, see here. Okay, seems like the Galaxy A3 2016 was faster again. Uh, Wiper. Again, slightly faster on the A3 2016. Uh, what else? What else? We do have the um, clock. There we go. Okay, that was pretty close. Uh, what else? Gallery. Again, I think that was a draw. Uh, Play Store. Okay, seems like the A3 2016 is slightly faster again. Uh, Twitter A3 2016 again Subway Surfer another game San Francisco so I'm getting also a lot of requests for other videos um, I'm gonna be doing those also so stay tuned for all that content and seems like the A3 2016 will win and yes I'm right Calculator, very, very equal. Let's open up camera. So I do have it on, uh, of course, on the front home page. Here we go. Okay, so that was actually faster on the A3 2015. Uh, so uh, you can see, still not that bad. Uh, I mean, this one uh, obviously, if we talk about the gaming perspective, this one is way better because the you know when I first tested out GTS Andreas performance on the A3 2015 it was really bad so I mean yeah you will going to get better gaming performance out of the A3 2016 so I do have settings so I think that was kind of faster on the on the A3 2015 let's uh, launch it one more time I think I kind of made a mistake there there we go yeah it is slightly faster so uh, yeah uh, we do have uh, WhatsApp and Viber uh, I think we opened up Viber but let's see we do have WhatsApp installed yes here we go again uh, this one's slightly faster there so let's go ahead and do a quick browser test and I'm gonna be using the Google Chrome on uh, both of these two phones here so first of all uh, let me just check here enter the password for the Wi-Fi okay so we are good to go same Wi-Fi connection will be on uh, both of these two phones uh, we do have Google Chrome over here also uh, which I also never use so I'm just gonna first check the Wi-Fi password and everything okay good to go uh, let's see here first of all uh, we are going to open up WWE.com uh, that's a tech uh, not a tech website that's a wrestling website so here we go uh, content rich website and you can see uh, the A3 was the first one to land on the website but the A3 2016 uh, finished off the content first so let's open up this link see which one will be faster okay so that was pretty close let's go back and you can see that A3 2016 was faster in going back uh, okay uh, let's see here what else we do have uh, phonearena.com a nice tech website 
phone arena.com here so go and let's see okay so a3 2015 actually faster here very very good let's open up the first article okay now the a3 2016 is faster so you can see both phones are going back to back let's go back and see which one will be faster and again uh, this one is way faster here I don't know why it's taking some time okay now we are back so uh, let's go ahead and launch gsmarena.com another tech related website here we go and uh, you can see that both phones were pretty close I think a5 2016 was slightly faster there let's open up the links again that was pretty equal let's go back Again, that was pretty, pretty close there. So, uh, you know who's, who was faster. Of course, you are the judge. You are watching this video. Uh, so, yeah, uh, very, very awesome performance overall. Let's, I think let's just, you know, open one more website. Uh, we should open, uh, let's see here, Apple, apple.com. Okay, Apple's official website. One, two, three, go. And you can see here the A3 2016 wins the race. Uh, we can click on a certain link like uh, the iPad Pro and you can again kind of see how uh, let's see here that's this is interesting who's gonna win a3 2016 again this one is still loading the the website let's go back and see which one will be faster and you can see a3 2016 again faster so overall you do get improvement in terms of the performance on the new a3 2016 uh, let's see here how good we have the uh, good we have the multitasking performance here on both phones so 1.5 gigs of ram on both phones let's launch instagram uh, okay i think that was fine uh, okay, could not start Temple Run, you can see, but the new A3 2016 started the Temple Run. Uh, you know, of course it refreshed because, I mean, it has less RAM, okay? But you can still see that this one just, you know, uh, quit, you know, he, this device quit it uh, when I launched that uh, app. So, you know, surrendered, okay? So, again, Viber. Okay, that's nice. That was not refreshed. That was refreshed here on this one. So I think you are familiar with the RAM management issue with the Samsung devices, you know, in order to conserve more battery, they kind of, you know, close the app in the background. Let's see here, gallery, refresh on both phone. Uh, let's launch uh, Twitter, refreshed on both phones. Uh, let's launch uh, App Store, Play Store here, again faster on the, this one but again that was refreshed what else we do have subway surfer okay could not start subway server as you can see uh, the ram conservative or or no not ram conservative the ram eating applications uh this phone cannot start those ram eating applications like subway surfer or temple run you can see especially you know i'm talking about games so that's nice with this one even though it's refreshed but uh but it, 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 this phone still opens them up. So yeah, overall you do get uh, improved performance way better here uh, than this one, uh, specifically in terms of gaming also. So let's talk about the camera now. Now we get improved camera here on the new A7, A3 A3 2016, which has this uh, um, 13 megapixel camera with LED flash, while this one has eight megapixel. Also on the front, we have same five megapixel sensor. Uh, now the biggest improvement here on this one in terms of overall picture quality is that it produces better, brighter results, uh, especially in terms of indoor and low light shots, you know, it has a bigger sensor size. Also we get more resolution, so you can overall see the better quality. And also we have optical image stabilization on the A3 2016, which means you will going to see stabilized 1080p HD videos. So also tested out the front camera, which I think the quality is uh, not that much of a different than the last year's A3 2015. So I also recorded a uh, 1080p video, so let's take a look at that.
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope I really helped you out in a, you know um, taking the decision ultimately. You know, uh, so for more videos uh, to watch, please subscribe down below. You know, there, there's a button down below. Please click that and uh, stay tuned for daily tech videos. And uh, check out my review comparison between these two phones, uh, which uh, will be here. You can click the i button. And uh, I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.